Hi, and welcome back to Studio Tamra, the Mystical Painters. Today we are in February, Michigan. We've got a lot of snow. So we're gonna do a little snow painting today. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Let's go. First thing we gotta do is set up our easel, right, Ra? Probably already a foot of snow here. This is gonna be interesting. So, the nice thing about Soltech, and they do not pay me to advertise, by the way, is set up under 30 seconds. This will be up and I can paint. Okay. As long as I don't hit a bad spot in the snow. There we go. I can paint. So I gotta keep my board dry because it's cardboard. It's just canvas over board. I'm gonna be painting fast today, folks very fast. My palette's going to be full of snow very fast. <laughs> I've got Carhartts on. I've got snow Carhartts. I've got all my hair tucked in my hat. I've got my Carhartt coat. We're ready to go. As you can see, the snow, it's coming down. We're gonna do this very fast. We're gonna be painting that scene very quickly. Ra, what are you doing? Okay, I am gonna do this as quick as possible. It's probably gonna be fairly monochromatic, meaning not a lot of color. A little blue, a little purple, black, a little raw umber. Just trying to get some kind of a dark something. That'll work. And I'm just gonna block this in. scared me okay now to most of you this might not look like much and that's okay I'm just having fun right now this is all my monochromatic little I do not have a lot of time in this kind of snow because if this board gets wet the uh, the oil won't adhere right I really want to try and get this in for you guys. So I'm trying not to be shaky, but I'm literally holding this in my hand while I'm painting. I don't know if you've ever done that. It's very hard to do. I put it on the stand, but I don't have time right now to do that. So here, all right, done, just kidding. Okay. You can't miss a snowflake today. <laughs> so for those of you at home, if you want to try this, you just tint your board with a little cobalt white, make a gray and um, Go on outside and give it a try. Uh, I have to paint this very fast because my board is already turning into water. Water and oil don't mix well. Not sure if you knew this, but now you do. So I'm gonna get as much underpainting as I can. See how the water now is starting to cause a problem on my board, damn it. Well, we're still having fun. Good times. Doing something, I'm gonna tilt this in doing something most people would would never do so I'm gonna get a little more of that dark and I'm gonna just suggest some of these branches out here that I see this is very fast We're supposed to get between 10 inches and a foot of snow today so that's interesting that's always fun 
So the trees that are a little further away, we're just gonna suggest like that. Okay, now, next, uh, use a little bit of this lavender real quick. And I'm just gonna kinda put a little bit of lavender in here, purple and white. No, you don't have to do this, but just thought it might help some. A little purple and white here. A little dark under it. Man, this is really not working. It's not working. Look at this. Everything's covered in snow. It's a watery mess. Well, we're not giving up yet. I'm not giving up. This is too much fun. Okay, so for snow, two things. Snow, number one, it's usually blue or purple. It's not white like people think. And even if you want it to be white, you gotta have an under color. A base color so I'm gonna go ahead and grab a big chunk of white here cuz I'm gonna bring this snow from this canal forward <laughs> my dog's entertaining you in the background that is Rod Doberman he is by far the coolest coolest dog on earth I'm sure you feel that way about your dog too though So some people might think, oh, she's doing a, a road here. No, I'm not. This is the canal behind my house. Um, I'm just really actually running out of white snow, white for the snow, which is okay. Oh, my dog. <laughs> I'm gonna put a little bit in here. Oh my God, this is, I've, I've never attempted to paint in oil <laughs> when we're getting two feet of snow. I've, I've just never done this. This is crazy fun. Um, so I'll try a little here and we'll see what happens, but this might just not even work at all for us. We'll see. Yeah, this is, this is a watery mess. This is not this is not working good, guys. Well, you win a few, you lose a few. I do not recommend a rookie to try this. If you've if you've never planar painted and you try this first, well, then again, who am I to say? You might absolutely love it. And this might be what gets you doing it. So yeah. Alright. I can't do a lot of snow here simply because I don't have a lot of white and the white I do have is full of snowflakes and water and oil and water just doesn't mix. I'm trying, trying to do a little here, but it just doesn't, it doesn't want to go at all. Look at that. The white won't even stick. Wow. This is a whole new level of crazy. All right. So we'll put some snowflakes real quick and call it done. I'm just going to water down some white with some of my stuff, my solvent, and then flick some snow on there. It's really not moving the way I want it to. I don't know what I expected. It's freaking snowstorm right now, but okay. That's gorgeous. That snow element, that, that effect, I mean. Let's check it out up close. Oh, yeah, that's fun. That's about as good as she's going to get because of my palette's getting full of snow. <sighs> my brushes are full of snow. My turp can, full of snow. Not good for oil paint. So I think we're going to go in and make some hot cocoa. Oh, shovel, shovel. Good exercise. Isn't that fun? Free exercise. You don't have to go to the gym. Mm. So, huh, here it is. Thank you for tuning in today to my channel and painting along with me. I might add a few snowflakes in the studio. As you can see, uh, it became almost impossible to paint out here. So, there it is. That was fun captured the impression of this beautiful snow day and it's time for cocoa as you can see back in the studio here i need to blot 
some of this water off of this. And that's not going to do good things. Maybe we just let it dry. Yep, I got water dripping off of my palette now that it's melting. What a mess. Well, there it is. I brought it in the house and put it in my studio window, and there she is. I didn't do anything, because then it wouldn't be plein air if I bring it in the studio and mess with it. Isn't that fun that this is a true plein air painting, meaning it is a true interpretation of exactly what I saw. It hasn't been doctored. I went out, I did it spontaneously in the elements. It's so rewarding to do plenty of painting. I highly recommend you try it. I could have painted it here from the studio window and it probably would have looked a lot more perfect, but this is great. Ta-da! So I'm going to just set this in my bookshelf to dry. I want to say thank you to all my subscribers and Patreon followers. My paintings are available in my Etsy shop, Studio Tamara, and my book is available on Amazon. Planner Painting Tips and Tales. Thanks so much, guys. Paint on.